uh, listen, I know that I've got a lot of videos. There's like 400 plus videos or whatever. But I want to encourage you guys really that it's a good idea to go back through and watch those videos. Anybody that's new, just to let you know, I'm not big on repeating myself. Uh, like I've told you guys, all the information that is available through Source or all that is, is a lot of information. So I'd prefer to answer new questions or at least in a different way than go over the same data over and over and over again. That's just my thing. Um, I do have somebody that's going to help me uh, write a book series. So I can write this stuff down, but just think of it like a book series that you need to go back and read. Or you need to read. If you if you ran into somebody that you liked and you were listening to them or you read a book about them, you would go back and get all the series of their books and read them. That wouldn't even bother you, not one little bit. Well, think of it like that. If you've just found me, um, trust me, a lot has happened over the last, uh, G-Man told me, two years now. That I've been doing this. Wow, that's unbelievable. It does not seem like it's been two years. Uh, but I died in 2008. That's over a decade now. And there is no way that I would have thought that I'd still be alive um, a decade after dying. Uh, I certainly did not. If you would have told me that, I would have been pretty upset. Because as most of you know, uh, the being dead thing was awesome. I like it over there a lot. A lot better than here. So, uh, yeah, I'm surprised that I'm still here. Who knows how long this is going to last. But I'm getting the hang of it. I'm getting better at it. Uh, most star seeds, as you guys know, um, suck at this game. It's not our forte. Uh, the humans, the long-term humans, the mid-range humans, and even the new humans are significantly better at it than we are. But we didn't come to play the game. Sorry, I know that there are a lot of people that say... You came here to play the game so you could get you should get into it. But Star Seeds, I assure you, you do not need to listen to those people. They don't understand that there's a small percentage of us that came for a completely different reason. And that's okay. Don't try to explain it to them. Just shake your head and say, yeah, you know, and move on. But I'm telling you that you will never be comfortable here. If you're not comfortable, you don't like the game, and you just want to leave and go home, that is normal. You are not crazy. You are not not being a good person. None of those things that they want to tell you, none of it's true. None of it's true. Uh, you simply are here to help Gaia. And then you will leave and go home. To, uh, you'll go back to what you were doing before or what you like to do. So don't worry about it. I guarantee you when you leave this game, this is going to seem like a very small, small blip on your existence. If that, you'll have to really concentrate on remembering this particular lifetime. Even though it feels like it's lasting forever and it is in very, very difficult. I assure you, when you leave, you'll look back at it and you go, Oh, that was no big deal. I, I'm glad I did that for Gaia. You will, I promise you, you will. Now, I did get um, from Western Raven... Um, writes, is it normal for a starseed to feel somewhat targeted or like treated differently by many or silenced? Um, and I wanted to answer that because if you're older than 30, especially older than 30, and uh, very definitely if you're older than 40, this is very, very, very normal. And the reason for that is because there are very, very few starseeds. Um, from 1942, there was just a handful, and it got to be more and more and more. Now, there were not they were not individual waves. I will talk about waves because it's easier, but in reality, there's just been a constant influx that's got to be more and more and more until 2012 when what I call the PRISM children were born, and the majority of the entities that were born in 2012 are... Um, star seeded and but the difference is that they came with very little amnesia very little they'll be hard for humans to control but that's the point the point was that Gaia said okay this is the end game um, I'm putting high level beings on this planet in 2012 everybody's got a chance to raise up to that vibration of 5d but 
by the time these guys are up and running the show, everything will be very 5D-esque. Prism children are very close to 5D most of the time, unless they're messed with, uh, given medication or whatever. So, due to the fact that there were very few star seeds in the, you know, the, the older range, yeah, we were very definitely, if you were, if you were being yourself, which most of us are not, uh, because it was a uh, way to survive, we came up with coping mechanisms to survive. In my case, I became whatever the person around me expected, needed, wanted, and I became that person. Did that very, very young. I mean, we're talking probably five weeks old I started that process because that's when abuse started. And uh, in order to not get hurt uh, physically or for things to not be as painful physically, I became whatever I needed to be to keep the person from hurting me as much. Started with my mother and father and just continued until the day I died. And it doesn't work, by the way. But it did... I was able to survive on the planet and that was my coping mechanism. Now, after I died and came back and realized I needed to be myself, that's been tricky because I've never had a myself. So, people say be yourself and I had no idea what that was. So, over the last 10 years, that has been a process that most kids do from the age of birth to 10. I've been doing it over the last 10 years, so mine has been very delayed. So, you might have developed that coping mechanism. Um, others will put layer upon layer upon layer of masks, what I would call masks, between their real self and the world around them. Star seeds have done that. Uh, the older you get, if you've opted for that coping mechanism, the older you get, the more layers they are, and it begins to be that you don't remember who you really are. So you have to start removing all those layers. Uh, also, it looks very much like layers of an onion, uh, the very, very thin ones. So you have to start peeling those back to find out who you really are. And that's just two. Uh, some people have um, coped by having sicknesses, illnesses. Because people who are ill are treated much better in the world, in society, certainly in America, than people that are well. Now, people, And also people avoid you, and they won't talk to you. It's a really good coping mechanism, but at this point, now you have to heal yourself. You have to realize that you did that as a coping mechanism, and you need to get out of it. Um, you are strong enough, you are good enough, you are wise enough, you are powerful enough that you can now drop the coping mechanisms, all star seeds everywhere, drop the coping mechanisms, whatever they are, you've got to figure out what they are first. It is time now to drop them all and come out and really be the God that you are. And stand up tall to that. I don't, I don't want to say you're powerful. I want you guys to start calling yourselves God and really own that. And that is difficult in our society because that's like anathema. You, you, you can't say you're a god. Well, you are a god. And you're more powerful than you will ever dream. Uh, you, you probably won't figure it out until after you leave uh, this game altogether. There's a certain amount of amnesia within duality. And this whole game is based way at the top on duality. So until you get completely out of the dualistic nature of things, you can't wholly understand the God that you are, but you can begin the process, guys. You can you can begin it. Now, the advantage that you have over long-term humans is that process of remembering the God that you are, it will be much easier for you. So whatever trauma you've gone through, just take it with a grain of salt, because now at this point in time, you remembering who you are will be much easier. For any of the humans, especially long-term humans, that will be very, very difficult. Now, they are the experts in the third dimension and even expert in the fourth dimension. But it, when it comes to remembering their God selves, uh, their memory is very, very, very deeply um, covered up because of millions upon millions of lifetimes even billions to trillions to gazillions or quadzillions or whatever the words are, okay? All right, that they have to get out of. Now, their advantage is they're experts in this deep density of duality and amnesia are 
advantage is getting out. It's much e as difficult as it may feel to you, it is much easier for you to do it than it is for them because you can look around at the systems and you can say, ah, uh, yeah, that's wrong. Uh, that You'll know it. You'll feel it in your gut. That's what's made you stick out and be targeted your whole life. Well, now use that to your advantage. So whenever you get into a system or you're faced with a system you and it doesn't feel right, then you can just smile and go, yeah, that's one of the things they put in place to create 3D. Good for them, but I'm going out of it. It doesn't have anything to do with me. Nothing has anything to do with you anymore. All of it becomes your doing, your choice, your beingness. You can change, fix, cure anything. And I do mean anything. You are a God. You are a God. Get in front of a mirror. Look in your eyes. Say, "I." you are a God. I am a God. That's what you need to say over and over and over to the point of ad nauseum. And I want you to know that that God that you think of, that omnipotent God, is who you are. You just forgot. And it makes perfectly good sense why you did. Okay? Alrighty then, hope that answered that question, Western Raven. Love you guys so much. Thank you very much for the questions. I love it. It's a great birthday present. And I'll continue to try to do videos and answer those questions. Um, thank you to all the subscribers. Much appreciated. Um, yeah, I guess YouTube thinks I'm good enough now to put ads up. So, I uh, hope you guys watch the ads or... I guess watch them and then skip them. I don't know. I guess watching the ads, they give me more money or something. They do, I guess, pay for that. You know, me having the ads on there. But I think I also go to the somewhere on a better list. Whenever you guys do a thumbs up and whenever you like and subscribe, I'm not sure how that whole algorithm works. But I'd appreciate your help in all of that <laughs> thumbs up subscribe all those things that i've done for a lot of people so would y'all do that for me and uh i know the ads are annoying but it really helps me a lot so i hope you watch anyway thank you everybody so so much i love you guys very much hang in there we got this you got this huge hugs see you later bye now